Prepare your goosebumps because America has a new stealth bomber and it is the coolest aircraft ever made. Flying in an altitude of 50,000 feet, it's invisible to radar as well as the naked eye. With hundreds under production, this now built bomber will be the new face of the US Air Force bomber fleet for generations to come. And if it hadn't been built, Northrop Grumman might have to walk away from military aircraft forever. This is the incredible next generation bomber and the tale behind it, the B-21 radar. Less than a day ago, Northrop Grumman revealed the brand new B-21 radar. Now much of this project was known to the press and thanks to program specifications, rumors and expert analysis, we have a pretty good picture of what it is. But this is the first time that the aircraft has actually been wheeled out of the hangar and into the public eye. And so some of this video might be slightly off, including any 3D that we have done ahead of time. After all, we couldn't exactly nail this aircraft without seeing it. This is what we know about its performance so far and how it compares to its predecessor, the B-2 Spirit. It will be able to fly up to an altitude of 50,000 feet, the same as the B-2, and potentially up to a higher 70,000 feet, putting it out of reach of most other aircraft. But unlike the B-2, it has a much lower armament, being half the size and carrying only around 30,000 pounds of weaponry. The reason for this was to go the quantity route rather than the quality, which will make a ton more sense later in the video when we talk about how this amazing aircraft was built. Interestingly, during the procurement phase, it was recommended that this bomber be a UAV and piloted remotely. But as it has a nuclear mission, generals were reluctant to take pressing the button out of human hands. Now fascinatingly, the real life version that was revealed was actually painted white. Or so what we're led to believe. It might be paint or perhaps a state of the art camouflage material that is next generation stealth coating for military aircraft. Like we saw with the Chrome Raptor. Plus, there are no visible seams on the aircraft shown in the unveiling ceremony, possibly suggesting a new advanced material that allows sensors, communication antennas, and air data systems to be built directly into the airframe. This stealth bomber also has a fully digital platform, meaning all the components can be swapped out and upgraded at any time. No decade refurbishments or advancements, but simple updates that are added now and again. We also didn't see the back of the plane, so the propulsion is practically unknown at this point. Whilst it's very strongly hinted that it has two engines fed by the two dorsal intakes, it's not out of the question that there are actually four engines on board. Again, everything about this jet is classified. Now, you're probably wondering, Nick, why on earth is the US military even showing the world this new aircraft if it's supposed to be a classified stealth bomber? Well, it's because of the New START treaty signed with Russia. If a new nuclear-capable strategic bomber enters the game, disclosure is needed. In fact, Russia could even demand to see the plane at the base under the rules. And so if we're telling all to Russia, we might as well let the public know too. Although we can't rule out that it's a great opportunity as well for America to roll out some badass new plane and show the world that they're still mighty and kicking. And the best part is this jet is cheap. At 692 million US dollars per plane, it's the cheapest new bomber for America in a long time, and employing well over 5,000 new engineers to build the 100 strong fleet at Northrop Grumman. It's a fantastic push for the world of aviation. So how did we get here? Let's deep dive and recap the incredible journey of the B-21. In mid-2009, the US government realized that it had a serious problem with its bomber fleet. So far, they had the indispensable 50-year-old B-52 for ground pounding, the B-1 Lancer for quick strikes, and the B-2 Spirit for stealth attacks. The issue was, the B-2 Spirit was supposed to be the replacement of the B-1, 
as well as the B-52, but it was far too expensive. Coming at the cost of two billion each, only one-sixth of the fleet of 132 aircraft were ever built. This bomber gap meant that by 2037, there would be a huge shortfall in capacity and capability of the US Air Force as these aircraft were retired. The military thus had two paths forward, restart the awfully expensive B-2 fleet or build a brand new aircraft. The Air Force decided that both a manned and unmanned long-range strike bomber would be required going forward and that could perform intelligence gathering, surveillance and reconnaissance, as well as sending an arsenal of freedom anywhere in the world. But it would also have the strict requirements that this new aircraft be affordable enough to produce in the numbers to replace the aging, older bomber fleet and to be made out of existing technology so it could be created as quickly as possible. But getting the funding for this aircraft would prove to be much harder than initially thought. To beat the upcoming bomber gap and build a new fleet of 100 aircraft, timing was of the essence and the US Air Force needed a ton of money fast. We've got to have money. In 2012, the Obama administration planned an expenditure of $3.7 billion for this next generation bomber project, but politics being politics, it was stonewalled as too expensive and that there wasn't an urgent threat for this aircraft. To overcome this, the US Air Force looked at ways to cut down the costs of the program. Components such as engines and radars could be bought off the shelf or simply taken from the existing F-35 program. They also did something rather clever. The Air Force asked for far more resources than needed, approximately $292 million in 2011, so when the eventual budget cuts came, the bomber could continue. Finally, in August of 2013, the project got its allocation thanks to a reduced program requirements, and difficulties in the F-22 Raptor program showcasing an ability gap in the current Air Force. But believe it or not, it was the rise of China that finally got the budget on the table. Experts believe that China would overcome the stealth of the B-2 bomber by the year 2020, and stealth was America's pride and joy. And as the B-21 was a stealth bomber, it would be given all the money required to keep that edge against the Asian rival. With the funding sorted, it came down to selecting someone to build it, and it was time for our usual suspects to step forward. Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? The year is 2014 and the heat is on, between two rival bids to build this bomber. In one corner, we have Boeing and Lockheed Martin, who decided to team up with the former bringing bomber experience and the latter with their stealth technology. And in the other corner was Northrop Grumman, who was still riding on the success of the B-2 Spirit. Now, this was a bigger deal than you might think. With fewer Air Force projects going forward and bigger gaps between contracts, whoever lost this program might have to shut down their military production lines forever. What's fascinating at this point is that there were actually two proposals for this bomber, but as it is all top secret, we only have rumors to what the Boeing Lockheed proposal actually was. This concept was believed to be a much longer delta wing shape with an extended nose like the SR-71. It would have two dorsal fitted engines on top and it would have a similar capacity and range as the Northrop concept. Boeing and Co. got as far as flying a smaller demonstrator in Texas of 2014, adding much to the rumors of UFOs in that area. Again, this could be completely wrong and I'll likely remake this video in 50 years once the real story is finally released. On the other hand, Northrop would turn in a little project that they were working on called the 2025 Passenger Cargo Concept. Looking at the initial reports, you can clearly see the similarity to the B-2 and to the eventual B-21. Clearly Boeing and Lockheed had the capacity and experience to build this craft and they even saw themselves as the safer choice. So why did they lose the contract? Well, it turns out that Boeing 
bit the hand that feeds them with a little known story called the Boeing Next Gen Tanker. Long story short, Boeing's mishandlement of the refuel fleet, an embarrassment in failing to meet the deadlines, made the Department of Defense cautious to even consider them. It's from here that our story goes quiet and very little was hinted at. The Air Force would release several renderings of the B-21 leading up to the eventual reveal that showed it as a smaller, more flexible B-2 bomber. After all, it makes sense. It's supposed to be cheaper, deliver nuclear weapons, fit into normal hangars and utilize existing technology. And with the B-2 being the last advanced bomber, it just makes sense that Northrop Grumman who built it won the award. And there you have it, America has a new bomber fleet on the way, one that is far under the existing cost of previous generations and will keep the US freedom delivering for many years to come. Oh, and if you're waiting for a shot of it taking off into the sky, I'm afraid you'll have to wait until next year. What do you think? Does the bomber look like the aircraft you're expected to see? Let us know down in the comments. And thanks for watching.